silversmithing is a process of um, manipulating silver into objects. So it could be jewellery or it could be what we term hollowware, which is like uh, goblets or chalices or uh, candlesticks, basically producing objects from flat sheet uh, up into an object of uh, creativity and hopefully good design. Hi, my name is uh, Vicky Donovan and uh, this is my studio, VCD Workshops in Thomastown, County Kilkenny. And I'm a silversmith with over 30 years experience now. Predominantly I specialise in hollowware, which would be um, cups, goblets, um, water vessels. Um, and I also specialise in uh, repoussé, uh, which is uh, working in relief using chasing tools, uh, which it gives everything kind of a third dimension. Um, so I would use that for jewellery techniques, but I would also use it on larger pieces like um, tabernacles and stuff like that. I was born into silversmithing, um, very lucky. My dad's a master silversmith who worked with Kilkenny Design. Um, so when I left school, I uh, started studying in um, Grenham Mill Craft School. And um, it uh, kind of started from there. After that, I was uh, very lucky. I managed to join Kilkenny Design Workshops as well. Worked on the same bench that my father worked on. Um, for three years under the, um, the, the mastership of uh, Des Byrne and uh, after that then I um, finished my apprenticeship with my dad and I worked with him until he retired which is just less than 10 years ago now and he passed the mantle to me now to continue for the next generation in the same traditional techniques. My dad has just had so many wonderful projects that I've been able to work on with him from a design to a completion um, I suppose one of the, the main pieces that we worked on would have been um, the tabernacle for um, Derry Cathedral, um, which is an amazing project. Um, the one that I had the most input in with him as a junior, if you like, would have been the tabernacle that we made for the um, Irish College in Rome, um, which, um, which really kind of inspired um, where I am now with my work, which is a kind of a Celtic, kind of an insular um, kind of a style to my work. Before that, I had, didn't really have much of an interest in um, Celtic art, it hadn't, it hadn't really clicked with me. But once that, that project was completed, I was absolutely sold on it. And so most of my work now kind of re revolves or has a lot of influence from early medieval Irish techniques and um, artworks, illuminations, etc. It's very difficult to say when silversmithing originated in Ireland because um, some of our earliest um, metalwork, I suppose the most famous pieces of metalwork would be like the Arda Chalice. And we were talking about medieval times then, but by the time we discovered these things, they were already very well advanced. Um, so we're, we're going on the assumption that uh, these very fine, if you like, insular type of art, uh, metalwork particularly, uh, was brought to us from far afield because we've seen some very uh, similar kind of um, techniques and we've seen some very kind of similar patterns in Persia for instance and also when you start talking about insular art and not work um, it's very similar to kind of almost like a Japanesey kind of style so it would strike me that somehow Ireland was so, sort of a, an amalgamation of people coming uh, and bringing their skills which would probably fit with the uh, monast early monastic settlements. My particular areas now are very traditional, so I would use uh, techniques that have been used for hundreds of years. I don't use machines, I hand raise all my cups, i.e. I, I don't spin them. Um, and so I think a lot of silversmiths these days, younger silversmiths perhaps who haven't had the luxury like I have working under a master, would probably learn easier techniques using more modern tools. Um, but at the end of the day, you possibly get the same result, um, but the, the amount of input that you have to use uh, using te uh, traditional techniques, I think kind of intensifies uh, the end product. So I think another aspect of silversmithing as well is that um, you have to be very focused. Um, it's, it, it would be very easy just to rush in and um, make something just to make money. But, um, you know, when you, when you actually really think deeply about what you want to produce, you produce your best work, you know, if it comes from within. And in order to be able to do that, you have to be focused and you have to be disciplined. And um, it's a very solitary uh, work, unless you work in a workshop with a lot of other silversmiths, which is very few and far between these days. You know, so your self-discipline 
your focus um, and a desire to create beautiful work. It is a gift at the end of the day and to deny the gift I think is a terrible thing. You know, we must always be aware that we've been given a gift and to develop it, pass it on and inspire others to do the same.